Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you are new to my channel, hey, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing. And no, my voice does not normally sound like I have a frog in it. Um, but yes, I hope you consider subscribing. <laughs> uh, and if you're back, as always, welcome back. Today I'm here with an unboxing from a brand new to me company and a company that I think is still relatively new in the diamond painting world. And this comes to me from Lola Rose Diamonds. I was so excited to see some of their new releases go live this past week and couldn't resist jumping on and buying one for myself. So let's take a look together. I did, I cut open the box, but I have not looked past that to see what is inside here, but it was just so well taped and I didn't want to leave you guys waiting on me. So, ooh, pretty packaging. Let me see, hold on. Make sure I'm not showing you like my invoice or anything, okay. Yeah, there is my invoice. Let me slide that away. All right, so we have a toolkit or just some goodies included here. Let's take a look. But first, here, let's take a look at this thank you note together. All right, so Lola Rose Diamonds, we're so thrilled to have you join us on this journey want to take you take a moment to thank you for purchasing one of our kits. I also want to let you know all diamond painting kits at Lola Rose Diamonds are licensed through Shutterstock. You can pause if you want to uh, read and take a look at the rest of this, but ooh, coming soon. Yes, please. I saw this one pop up in her stories and I was like, when is that cutie coming, please? <laughs> so I'm going to be sure to link to Lola Rose's social media info down below. Uh, be sure to give them a follow because it seems like she is trying to release new kits and whatnot fairly regularly. And isn't it wonderful to get to support small shop owners in the community? So it looks like we have, this is a cute little, like you can use this for wax or to keep uh, trash drills or keep drills in. Some, oop, <laughs> a roll of washi tape, which I use washi tape to cover the borders if there's any glue that's going past the edges of the drill field. Um, I also use it to section off my paintings, but ooh, some cute stickers, yes please. And then we have a sticker. Here's a little preview of what I will be sharing with you all today. This kit is Bed of Flowers. It's gonna be a round diamond, diamond painting kit, 60 by 80 centimeters, 30 colors, including two ABs. And of course it is legally licensed. This is a sticker, by the way, I will use this in my logbook since I do have a paper logbook where I keep track of my diamond paintings. Um, look at these are these crystals or sparklers oh my gosh a giant bag of pink sparklers or crystals oh my gosh this is incredible already i love it all right we have a card here oh she went in. <laughs> All right, so special diamond treatment. We have included AB drills for your kit. Please check the back of the bag <clears throat> of drills for the DMC we suggest. You're, you, you are welcome to use them however you like. Perfect. Okay, so they are ABs. Yes, 3609. So um, the colors in this kit were absolutely one of the things that called to me the most. Uh, the owner over there, Mei Lin, I believe, is her name. Her handle on Instagram is Mei Love Lin, I believe. Um, when she previewed these kits and said that they were coming soon, I think it was a few months ago, as soon as I saw this particular image, I was like, oh my gosh, when that releases, that is absolutely going to be my first purchase from Lola Rose Diamonds uh, because I love that image so much. I'm so excited. So by the way, on the back of the box, uh, we do have info like instructions for how to diamond paint. And there is a note here about everything that the package includes. So super, super big props to <laughs> Lola Rose Diamonds for putting together a small shop for diamond painting because it is so hard. I cannot even imagine the amount of work and time and thought and <laughs> effort, everything that has to go into the process of starting a diamond painting company, it kind of blows my mind. You know what else blows my mind? This image. Oh my gosh, she is beautiful. <laughs> I want to be living her life right now. All right, let me take a quick look at what all is included here and I'll show you guys as well. 
So we do have a basic toolkit. It looks like we have a pen, a tray, and a couple of plates of pink wax. So this will absolutely take care of you as far as giving you what you need to do your diamond painting, plus the bonus goodies that she included, like the washi tape and the little wax pot. Here is info about their kit as well. Look at that artwork. Oh my goodness, she's so pretty. Uh, this is legally licensed, like she mentioned. Now licensing is so important to me as a, as a creator, as a, just as a, as a person, as a, as a crafter. So I love, love, love that Lola Rose has made the commitment to only uh, create diamond paintings from legally licensed artwork. It looks like we have our color list over here. This is gonna have 30 colors, including some A, Bs, and those special drills, which that was 3609 for those crystals. Okay, I'll be sure to point out where those go. And it looks like we're also gonna have a couple of A, Bs, so I'll be sure to show those to you as well. Now, while this sheet itself is not sticker paper, that's completely fine. There's a really inexpensive and very useful tool that I like to use called a Xyron sticker maker. I'll link to it below. Um, on Amazon where I'm just gonna cut this out and feed it through my Xyron sticker maker and it's gonna, it's it, basically you slide it through, it comes out on sticker paper and then it's, I just cut it and I can use this for kidding up. Looking at the symbols, I don't believe I'm seeing any that look too similar. I'm hoping we'll be able to make out that moon without too much trouble since it's black on a dark blue background. But given that that's like the only one that's really kind of that color, I'm not too worried about it. We'll look at the diamonds in just a bit. I'm gonna set this to the side. Now this is poured glue. <laughs> so even though it wants to kind of like roll back in on itself here, I am just gonna roll it back the opposite direction to help it lay flat. And since this is poured glue, this is safe to do. So. The canvas feels like a pretty, like a really sturdy material. It's a bit stiff, but honestly, I I really prefer this kind of canvas material to like that really soft lint canvas that's been so popular lately. So I'm really happy to see this particular canvas material, to be honest with you. I, I like that a lot. Let's take a little tour of the canvas together, shall we? Here, oops, I just got and bumped my camera there. Uh, here at the top, we have branding Lola Rose Diamonds. It looks like these edges here, they're scalloped and they're finished, so you're not gonna have to worry about fraying, yay. On here, over here on the top left, we have a legend with all of our color codes, and it does look like these colors are all based on the DMC color code. And we have the same legend over here on the bottom right. Oh, you can't see, I'm not in frame. Down here on the bottom right. <laughs> Here at the bottom left, looks like we have a thumbnail and then the title of the artwork, the size, and of course the note that this has been legally licensed through Shutterstock. But here is Lola Rose's social media info. I'll link to these below, of course. And then their logo. I really like their logo, it's pretty. <laughs> Looking at the canvas itself. So the symbols are maybe just the tiniest, like the H and stuff, uh, maybe just the tiniest bit blurry, not blurry, just they're not quite as like crisp and clear as you sometimes see, but I am not really having any trouble reading them. So I don't even know that that's fair to mention. Um, the symbols certainly look pretty distinct from one another. The E and the Z here, you just have to kind of be paying attention because they're both black lettering on red backgrounds. This is the sort of thing that if you have a light pad and like to use a light pad, uh, that would probably make this very, very simple. I'm the kind of person that I just don't typically use a light pad. I may be lazy, but um, especially that being said, like I really, I don't think I'm gonna have any trouble distinguishing between the symbols that I'm seeing. Look at these pretty colors. Oh my goodness. I love her. <laughs> Um, I love all the pinks and the shading that it looks like we're gonna have. It looks like it is gonna be quite a lot of confetti. Confetti is where you have a lot of different colors in a small section and you'll probably have to do lots of single placing. 
Look at all these blues up here. Oh, so pretty. Um, and then look at her face. I love it. Oh, she's so dreamy, literally and figuratively. <laughs> uh, confetti, like I said, is we're going to have lots of color changes in a small area. So you'll be changing out the color in your trades a lot, probably using a single placer. There's a little bit of color blocking though. Like here, we have a lot of the same symbol here as well. Um, up in the corners, just a little bit in the blues, we have some chunks that are the same symbols. And then some of these lighter pinks in her dress, it's all kind of like that check mark symbol. So I'll be able to use a multi-placer there and maybe not have to change out the color in my tray quite as often. But this is a lot more confetti than color blocking though. So just something to keep in mind. <laughs> Let's do a quick measurement together. Um, really just from what I'm seeing from taking a look at the canvas, the symbol clarity does look good like I said a light pad might be might be useful for you if you are finding yourself having any trouble it looks like this is just a tick shy of 80 and then just the tiniest tick shy of 60 so we are gonna call that true to size I always give companies wiggle room because you never know what the exact proportion of the artwork is gonna be and the actual printing and whatnot so yeah. Anyway, let's take a look at the diamonds together. Before I do that, I wanted to point out that there is a spot uh, here where it tells you the name of the artwork. So if, if I were to store this canvas separate from the diamonds, like outside of the box that it came in, uh, it'd be really easy to match up afterward. Now, I don't think I'm gonna pull up all of these colors necessarily. Well, I'll pull out a good chunk of them though, because why not? I wanna look at some pretty colors with you guys. <laughs> these shades of pink oh my goodness so it does look like we have both the dmc code here and then the number here is the weight so the the weight of the drills in the bags we have a couple of bags of this 225 love that 224 now when there are shades of the same color that you know are that close like kind of these pinks are pretty close um what that often means is that there's just gonna be like some really beautiful, beautiful shading. Here's another bag of the 224. Uh, for those of you that actually prefer to work out of baggies as opposed to actually kitting up, um, I have good news for you. <laughs> it looks like these have all been pre-bagged for us. So like I said, if you wanna work out of baggies, that will make your life a little easier. Pretty browns and taupes and grays here, and just a little tiny bag of 310. From what I'm seeing, the drill quality looks to be really, really nice. I'm just gonna go ahead and go for go for broke here. We're gonna show all the colors. Um, ooh, I'm just gonna drop some. I'm having a particularly klutzy evening, to be honest. A couple of colors. I wonder if that's skin tone, that's 754. And then some more pretty like deeper colors, big bag of gray, a small bag of kind of this like pinkish orange. That's 550, deep royal purple. And the gray that I dropped. <laughs> and then finally, is it Christmas in here? <laughs> so we do have two small bags of ABs here. It's a 666 AB, this red AB, and then 701 green AB. We'll take a look together. I want to point out where those ABs are going to go. And I also want to point out where we could potentially put that big bag of pink crystals that they included separately. So let's take a look. So we are looking for, let's see, the symbol 666 is G and the 701 green is the number eight. So actually, if you guys look and you see there's green, literally, it looks like it's just been sprinkled. You can kind of see it in the camera, the spots, the single spots of green sprinkled through her dress. That is the green AB. So that's gonna be beautiful. I really, really, really like that. That's sprinkled, it kind of goes like up to here. Again, there's like one little dots throughout, all throughout here and then up around here a little bit as well. And then the 666AB is the letter G. That seems to be, are these like the centers of the flowers? I think they are. Like there's a big chunk of that red AB here. Again, I think this is, yeah, so in the original artwork, kind of the center of the flower. Oh, those green sprinkles are in her dress. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so yeah, the red AB though is kind of in the centers of some of these flowers where you see kind of like the deepest red. 
yeah so that is going to be really pretty and then last but not least 3609 is that pink crystal that they said we can swap in instead if we want to that is quite honestly going to be through quite a lot of this piece um i'm just going to kind of point with my finger and show you guys so we have a bunch of that pink crystal well the color that we could swap in the pink crystal if we like here around this flower there's some through here as well as this kind of like again it's like a pale pink here um i see some coming up through here this is i think her dress I mean, her dress is most of this. <laughs> um, and then as well, we have a little bit of that number, that uh, DMC up here. And then, I want to make sure I'm not missing it. Okay, it's kind of sprinkled throughout. Like, there's not big clumps of it in most of these areas. It's just kind of sprinkled through some of these flowers as well as back here. I think this, yeah, this is still her dress. It's sprinkled through back here. And then, yeah, yeah, it really is. It's just here and there throughout. So I may, I don't know if I'll do a full swap necessarily, but I'll probably swap in a good number of them. Maybe I'll focus it in like the areas of her dress that I see that particular symbol that could be really pretty but you guys I am so excited to have my first diamond painting kit from Lola Rose diamonds I think this is absolutely beautiful I am so thrilled to see another diamond painting company out there that's doing legally licensed artwork um, and I love the variety of artwork that Lola Rose diamonds seems to have I'm gonna link directly to their shop. I do know that especially because they're a small business that they do sell out of some of their more popular kits. <laughs> and so if you see something that you love, I recommend picking it up because it may sell out. And please give them a follow over on their social media because like I said, they seem to be adding new kits pretty regularly. That's how I found out about this kit finally being in stock. It's how I knew this kit was even coming because like I said, I think it was a few months back that they had posted like four or five kits that they're like, these are gonna be coming soon. <laughs> and so I already had it in my brain. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't wait for this particular kit to be released. And then when they posted like, okay, these have gone live, I could not have clicked through faster. I love so much about what I am seeing as far as the quality goes all of the basics, all of the usual suspects, like the canvas, the glue, the symbol clarity, the drill quality, all of these things look to be excellent. It's hard to tell how the rendering is gonna turn out until there are diamonds down, particularly in artwork like this that is so almost impressionistic and has like just a very ethereal effect. Um, but I'm really, really looking forward to seeing how this comes together. It has 30 colors in total, so um, I hope that that is going to give this just a really lovely amount of detail, especially given that there's so many like just similar colors within it. So um, other things that went super, super well, it shipped really fast, <laughs> like same day. I think I had a shipping notification. I'm not saying that'll necessarily like be the norm, but I was excited that I had this in hand within a week of ordering. So I really appreciated that. And the owner was also really responsive when I had just messaged her once or twice on Instagram with um, random little comments or questions. So all good things. So the most that I can say really is go take a look at their website. If you see something you love, I, I think that you would have a really good experience with it. I will be sure to work on this kit at some point, hopefully before too long, and share a post review so you can get a sense for what to expect as far as uh, the finished effect of this piece goes. Uh, but in the meantime, please let me know if you have any questions. I would be happy to help as much as I can. Uh, otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I really hope this video was helpful for you in deciding if this is maybe a kit you want to try out for yourself, or if nothing else, I hope that it's introduced you to a new company that looks to have some really 
fabulous products and I'd love for you to go and check them out. So, um, like I said, I actually, I purchased this kit for myself. So you're getting a totally honest and authentic uh, opinion from me. And, um, yeah. So if this video is helpful though, would you mind giving it a thumbs up before you head out? And of course, if you're not already subscribed, and want to see lots more diamond painting content from me. Uh, feel free to subscribe and you can hit the bell to be notified when I share new videos. Anyway, my friends, thanks again for watching. I hope you have a really, really wonderful rest of your day and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.